All right, everyone. Good morning. It's a healthy 8:32 a.m. and I just realized I forgot to initiate a couple new missions. Firestone. They actually came out with a nice new update yesterday, so they simplified the game more. So I like it, and they also improved the graphics and UI. Looks pretty cool. Now I might be coughing a little bit throughout the today because. Someone uh, below me is smoking and like, you know, fixing shit up, and it's very annoying. So, fucking secondhand smoke's coming up. I'm hoping I won't have this issue when I move to Florida, because even even though people might probably smoke just as much down there, you know, electricity is cheap, so, and it's pretty hot and humid usually, right? All, all, all year round, so... Yeah, I can uh, pretty much just have the AC on all the time, so whatever. And electricity is like practically nothing, thanks to nuclear power, right? So anyway, I just found this project literally at random yesterday, all right? Because we were just browsing, you know, uh, XYZ here. And oh uh, yeah, just a, just a real quick thing. I am still holding my Wall Street coins. You know, but we'll talk about that later. So, it actually, that's actually the next video. I'm going to do an update video. Even though I'd prefer not to. But because it looks like I'm going to be holding for pretty much five to seven days. Alright, and we'll explain it all there. Because I actually want to try to keep these videos short. Uh, <laughs> short. And, uh, let's see. Uh, crypto is kind of coming back. Alright, because there's a lot of shock in the bond market. Let's see, that's my stupid Twitter. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of stabilizing around here, so it seems to be doing okay, the bond markets, and let's see, I think the stocks are still selling off just a little bit, yeah. So, I mean, it's nothing major, all right, Greg Manorino said yesterday it's still a red, uh, it's not a red flag, it's a possible yellow flag. <clears throat> so, we'll have to see how that goes. I fucking can't stand cigarette smoke, man, fuck, I wish we would. You know, we were, if we lived in an actual honest country, that shit would already be fucking banned. And, and the Philip Morris's, like, assets would be fucking seized. But, you know, what are you gonna do? So anyway, this project uh, obviously doesn't look like much. Uh, but with that being said, you know, I guess this is in reference to Dante's Inferno. Right, because they have a thing here called Inferno. Yeah, it's actually called their boardroom, apparently. And, you know, it's above peg. It's actually, it actually increased its peg, right, from yesterday. I think yesterday's peg was like 102 or 105. So, you know, the share price is very, very reasonable and very low circulating shares. So, and very low starting supply. So, I don't know if this project just launched, right? In fact, let's actually find out. What does, does it say? Yeah, all it says is it's KY seed and it just stealth launched. That's all it tells us. So, oh, I gotta connect this. All right, and they are using the smart APR system. All right, it says it right here. For 12 months, it uses the smart APR system. So, very, very good. But let's see if, let's see if it actually still maintains that. So, you're tied to Phantom. Because Tomb is basically like a slightly cheaper version of Phantom by like a few cents or a few percentage points. So Tomb is basically, aside from Paper Financial, is the like only other consistent, you know, paid token. So let's see, Dante Tomb. So this, that, that was the uh, thing, right? Yeah. Oh, it says right here. So this thing started April 2nd. So this is actually five days ago. So this is actually a new project. Okay, perfect. All right, you're making six point sixty eight percent. It's not bad. GVO looks all right. So let's see, nine percent, fifty three point four k, fifty three point four k, fifty three point four k. Yeah, it's using the smart APR system still. I mean, yeah, the shares are more APR, but that's because the TVL is lower. So okay. Yeah, so this looks fine. This looks totally fine. Now, they said there was supposed to be another pool. So he hasn't released it yet. But when he does release it, this is going to be the distribution. All right, perfect. So that's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. And, of course, you want to stake in the boardroom. You know, you can print, you know, a, a good amount of money. I'm trying to see if I can find out what the current epoch is. 
There we go. It is 19. It'll be 20 in an hour and 21, 22 minutes. All right, so there's your APR for the bore room if you want to do that. So it's pretty good. Let me see if I can find... <clears throat> Great, my stomach's already growling. I've actually been getting a lot of weight, and I actually cannot figure out what it is I'm eating that's uh, causing it. You know, because I went from 177 to 186 literally overnight. That doesn't make sense. So, you know, but I, you know, I'll figure it out. You know, of course, because uh, I know for a fact I did not eat that many calories yesterday. So, I went from 186.4 to 186.2. Like, you know, I should actually be, like, a lot lighter than that. So I got to find out what the hell's going on. Uh, let's see. Yeah, because as an experiment, I didn't actually eat any cream cheese yesterday. So it should so it's not that. Though that does actually contribute to a lot of weight gain, even, have, even despite having a lot less calories. So the next thing that gets eliminated is the French bread, right? It's, it's just like a regular baguette, but, like, how is that different from, like, any other bread, right? But, uh, well, I ran out last night, so I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Yeah, I'm trying to find out their inflation, so if it's not mentioned, I, I can probably assume it's 4.5%. Okay. Uh, well, we know I launched April 5th, so I guess I could set this to 4 hours. I don't know, I'll have to do 1 hour. Let me zoom out. Yeah, so it doesn't look too bad. It was as low as 52 cents, goes up to peg. Yeah, so it looks pretty healthy. And, of course, it goes down when cryptocurrencies go down, too. So, But, I mean, it already had its kind of beat down, too. And, of course, the share price does the same thing. Yeah, 34.6, down to 81. So, yeah, this looks very, very healthy. And then I'm not even going to bother. Well, I guess I will bother, but... They're linked to their auto company. Okay, so... God, this is, this is this is the one thing I don't like about Beefy Finance, because this is obviously a Beefy Finance fork. Alright, I'm not even going to bother. But they, according to their webpage, they have an auto compound. This is why I just use Yield Wolf. Like, it, it's just so much easier. So, I don't know. I guess if you really want the auto compounder, which I guess supposedly works, you know, you can just go on the site itself. Now, that being said, what I invest in this project... Believe it or not, it probably would not be a bad idea, actually. This is actually a pretty solid project. And the prices are cheap. And it's tied to Phantom, basically. Right? A cheaper version of Phantom via Tomb. So the only question I have to ask myself is, am I willing to manually work this project? Uh, I think the answer is, believe it or not, no. Even though the APR actually looks pretty good. But, I mean, if I needed, like, money and, like, more projects, yeah, I would definitely do this manually. But if this does, but if this ever showed up on Yield Wolf, I would totally, uh, I would totally buy this, because right now I'm still farming uh, America, America, AmericaMoney.com. Is that the URL? I don't know why it didn't show up here. Uh, yeah, it's still doing really, really well actually. Now that the prices have been stabilized, yeah. I mean, look, you're, I'm earning 14% a day, all right. And of course, you know me, I never touch this shit. In fact, I don't even touch the hybrids anymore. It's less money. Half of your coins are in the risky shares, right? And the whole point is to get away from the risk, right? And of course, for whatever reason, the single stake, the, the APR on it never is accurate. So, so yeah, I am making good, good bank off of this. So I'd rather just have more of this. Plus, you know, it just helps support, you know... Uh, Brando and the project so because he's really going he's working it really hard he's working it really hard and I like that you know the guy is definitely motivated and dedicated so uh, and yeah I'm still decent uh, you know TVL so whatever I still find it hilarious that the bond symbol is a nuke <laughs> is a nuke symbol it's so, it's so funny all right, well, I don't have anything really witty or whatever to say because uh, yeah I don't know I mean I slept very well last night you know, I feel very good, you know, weather is shit still, right? But that's because we're transitioning from winter to spring, so there's going to be a lot of condensation and therefore lots of rain. That's why it's called April showers. It actually technically starts in March, but, you know, it's called April showers because all the cold air from winter up here is now colliding with all the hot air that's being generated now that the tilt of the earth is receiving a lot more sunlight than before, which 
heats up the area, right? Which of course, hot plus cold equals condensation, forms pure purified water, basically, uh, before the air pollution gets to it, of course. And then, uh, yeah, and then it rains like crazy. And if it gets really extreme, then you have like hurricanes and tornadoes and shit. So, see, I still remember my earth science from elementary school. You know, back when our schools actually taught you fucking something, right? You know, not now they just teach you, uh, you know, hate, hate white people or whatever, you know. And they don't actually teach you anything else. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I mean, I still remain pretty calm in the markets. I mean, it just looks like another day in the office for me. I'm pretty, And I haven't seen Greg Manorino put out any new alerts, so... And yeah, I mean, again, I'm looking at the bond market. It looks very stable. Yeah. So the markets were just selling off and just anticipating, you know, a bigger rate hike or something. So, I mean, in fact, they're already still pricing in another 25 basis points rate hike in a month, right? Because the Fed meets... Holy shit, by the way, Twitter stock is up a lot. Yeah, I mean, I really do hope that Elon Musk can do something. I mean, I'm not putting all my chips into Elon Musk, but hey, you know, he's more effective than Trump. So, you know, um, we'll, we'll, I mean, anything can happen. I mean, they already have an edit button coming out. Like, for whatever reason, Twitter has always been opposed to creating an edit button. So, all right, I mean, three, I mean he spent $3 billion to give us an edit button, Elon Musk, that is, and the possibility of having free speech restored. So, <laughs> all right. Um, fuck. What did I want to do? I was talking about Elon Musk, but what was I talking about before that? Ah, shit. Can we look at this? Oh, I remember now. I always feel good, even though you really shouldn't. Uh, when I forget something completely and then I remember what it was. When are these fucking clowns? Yeah, May 3rd, May 4th. That's what I figured. <sighs> Why does nothing on the internet ever fucking work, man? Alright, there we go. Okay, these idiots are meeting May 3rd and 4th. So that is... One, two, three... Four Tuesdays from now, right? And then the May 4th is a Wednesday, so that's also four Wednesdays from now. That's when these idiots will meet. Uh, and then, yeah, so yeah, I mean, I've, I mean, the rest, I think the other central banks out there are still raising interest rates, so I imagine the central, the Federal Reserve is still going to do the same thing, too. Because again, if they don't raise rates, that's actually going to cause a lot of problems, too, so they kind of have to raise rates. It's, it's such a warped. So it's such a warped market uh, situation, but I mean that's but you know that's why you can't just look at technicals and, and even fundamentals. You gotta look at market sentiment, how people think, and the way people think is completely irrational and like fucking stupid and retarded, which makes it even harder to invest. <laughs> but you know whatever. I mean that's why Greg Manorino runs around, does his thing. That's why I run around, do my thing. So you, you know you guys and gals don't have to like work as hard to figure it out. Lucky you, right? I wish I had someone like me or Greg advising me, you know, you know, 12 years ago. And yeah, Greg Manorino actually started his channel in like 2009, 2010, also, right? after he lost all his shit in the uh, financial uh, recession, the Great Recession of 2008. So, I don't know, but yeah. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. It should be uh, Wall Street Finance. We'll talk more about, I mean, I guess I'll have to add that. I really don't want to add this project to, you know, my investment thing, but definitely read the description for that because we're going to have uh, gonna have a lot of disclaimers on it. So anyway, but check out Dante Finance. It's actually a very solid project. This is actually something I would invest in, but it's just not convenient enough for me to do it. But uh, everything looks really solid about it. And of course, it's Stealth Launch. So, you know, now you don't have to worry too much about the uh, Super Predator problem. But of course, you know, it's right at peg. It's going it's doing pretty well so far. And, you know, of course share prices can still drop to like forty bucks. Because right now Apex, Hamster, and Code 7 are around there. It, it always it right now shit's just so volatile in Tomb Fork, so you're just gonna have to just be very careful with these things and just pull profits. Uh once a day minimum. I but if I have a very large position like I do in paper financial and well, yeah, just paper financial. I pull it twice a day, you know. 
but it was a very high risk position like my say my peg maker i was taking that two even three times a day all right all right and then of course it eventually tanks actually what is uh i'm curious i kind of want to reinvest back in this project but i don't know if they're stable yet ah that is such a shame jesus i don't understand why this project is doing so poorly like they're they did they did everything correct i mean i guess maybe their boardroom inflation rates too high yeah now they're starting to yeah they've already incurred protocol debt too yeah that's probably uh boy it's a real shame i mean that's why you need a taxation system oh well oh well that's how it goes you know so anyway uh see you next video thanks for watching and we are clocking in a little under 16 minutes even with a little bit of a rambling my stomach's also growling too like subscribe share Grow the channel, you know, let's get bigger, right? You know, and thank you to all the new people, of course, that have been coming in. I've actually noticed a lot of people are coming from Wall Street Finance, so now I'm going to, you know, do an update video on that. I still technically am treating it like a scam, but I'm a little less paranoid about it. So, I mean, I kind of have to because I'm going to be holding it for at least a week. Ah, there we go. I forced out a small little burp because if I don't, then I start getting hiccups. Ah. My physical body is so annoying.